Hi! In this video, I will talk about the minor 7 chord. You can find the minor 7 chord in literature in different ways. You can find it as D minus 7. You can find it as D minus 7, and most likely M lowercase. And you can find it as D M I N 7. D minor 7. So the D minor 7 sounds like this. We have the root, of course, which is D. We have a minor third up from the root, which is the note F. We have a perfect fifth up from the root, which is the note A. And we have a minor 7 up from the root, which is the note C. So we have D, F, A, and C. This is D minor 7 chord. Now let's say that you want to take the root up an octave. So let's take the root up an octave. You get the first inversion, the first inversion, which is F, A, C, D the first inversion. And the first inversion also called as 6-5. Why 6-5? Take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 5. Let's say that you want to take the note F, the third up an octave. You get the second inversion, second inversion, which is A, C, D, and F, which is also called 4-3. 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, right? And let's say that you want to take the note A, the fifth of the chord up in octave. So you get C, D, F, and A, the third inversion, which is also called 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And sometimes they also call it just 2, 2. So we have the root position, we have 6-5 or first inversion, we have the second inversion, which is the 4-3, and we have the 4-2, third inversion. And of course you can transpose it, for example, uh, so the root is going to be C, the, the note C, right? So then a minor third up, it's E flat, a perfect fifth up, it's G and a minor 7 up from the root is going to be B flat. So this is a C minor 7 chord. Sometimes it's nice also uh, to play some exercise over it. For example, let's go back to D minor 7. So with your right hand, play the root position, go to first inversion, second, third, then root position up and then descending. So ascending and descending. And do it also with your left hand. Root position, first inversion, second, and down. Sometimes it's also nice to play the root with your left hand, the root, right? And with your right hand to play the inversions. So it's going to sound like this. Going to G minor 7 and playing the same thing. Going to A minor 7 and back to D minor 7. You can also play it as an arpeggio, meaning root with your left hand, root position, first inversion, and descending. You can also uh, play it just with root position, so for example, left hand 
we have the root and with your right hand just the root position. Going to G minor 7. Going to A minor 7. And back to D minor 7. So basically you can do many things with just one chord, with a minor 7 chord, a minor 7 chord.